to record the I hit the button and it didn't respond. That's why. Sorry about that. That's uh, no, all good. Yeah. Okay. So, hi, everyone, and welcome to tonight's general body meeting on how tech writers save the world. My name is Joy Karendang, and I am a graduate student studying technical communication here at UCF. I am also FTC's historian and communications committee member. And tonight I will be co-presenting with our treasurer, Cassandra Ortega. Hello. Yeah. And if y'all have any questions anytime throughout our presentation, please feel free to type them in into our chat. And if we have extra time towards the end, uh, we will try our best to answer them to the best of our ability. And so without further ado, we will begin. Oh, I apologize, Cassandra. I think your um, mic is muted. Yeah. I noticed that way as you said it too. Thank you. Oh, all good. So, <laughs> quick reminders just before like we fully get into it. All custom meet group order form is closing. Today will be the last day to order your shirts. If all group linked, I'm actually wearing mine in commemoration of this closing. So, I muted myself. Sorry. <laughs> be sure to check it out. And you can see all the stylings we have right there. So, yeah. Um, next slide, please. Yes. And alongside our merchandise for sale, FTC has an ongoing fundraiser to support our five STC Summit attendees and three who are actually with us today, including Cassandra, Chantel, and Dominic. And um, yes, and all contributions are very much appreciated and the donations will go towards making our spark our SCC summit attendees um, attendance possible, as well as future FTC funding. If you have time, we also recommend this awesome SCC Florida memo to members article um, linked in the chat and also on our screen. There you can see bios of each of our attendees as well as what they're most looking forward to in May. Okay, so we will now begin and show you guys our adapted presentation that we presented over the Spock Sun Fest this year. Yes, and if you're new to FTC, here are some things that we would love to share about our club to you. Did you know that we are a registered student organization? And as a independent organization, we are affiliated with the Florida chapter of the Society for Technical Communication, also known as STC Florida. And throughout the year, we host joint meetings, as well as programs like our mentorship program, which, um, which basically links experienced professionals to those interested in the field of technical communication. We are also open to all majors, and whether you are majoring in technical communication or comm sci, you are always welcome as a member of FTC. I would highly recommend becoming a member through our link on Linktree when you can, and from there you can always see what we're doing on our Discord and various social media outlets. So just a quick history with FTC, we were founded in 2000 by Erica and Bob, who wanted to create an on-campus community for students interested in TechCom. And what we do is support TechCom journeys, which offering weekly, um, our general body meetings, which is one of them that you're in now, and have occasional guest speakers, as well as scale sharing workshops, networking events, and more. Yes, and for today's presentation agenda, we will be covering four subtopics. First, we will be talking about what technical communication is. Then we will segue into what a technical communicator does at a regular basis throughout various fields. Then we will cover real life examples in and outside school. And lastly, we will be sharing 
um, the plethora of volunteering opportunities here at FTC and STC Florida. Yeah, so as the first topic, what is TechCom? So what is exactly TechCom? Well, to put it shortly, it is a field that simplifies heavy content into information that is easier for their audience to understand. And this differs from academic writing as the focus in TechCom is to be clear and concise so that the reader can gather the information they need quickly. And this definitely goes into um, documentation and how technical writers have to pay attention to the nuances and um, values of their audience so that everyone will be able to connect with it and utilize it effectively. And we'll also not to say that academic writing isn't um, having a focus. Technical writing works by being succinct and succinct writing is valuable by breaking down information in an accessible manner reducing time needed to explain content heavy concepts and having clear organization with distinct sections. Yeah, so next we will be talking about what does a technical communicator do? So here are some examples of technical documentation. The first one being in user end documentation. And this can be seen as more specific examples as in user help guides, product manuals and assembly guidelines on technical books. The second one is proposals and policies, and this can be further seen with employee handbooks, company policy manuals, requests for proposals, which are used in organizations and government. And then finally, we have API documentation, which can be seen more specifically with software API, hardware API, and web API. Now, depending on the industry and company that you choose to pursue your career with, a technical writer can wear many hats. And right over here, we have just a handful of the many industries that you can find technical communication jobs in, such as software, aerospace and aviation, healthcare, and consumer electronics. However, the list goes on. Examples. <laughs> yes, and um, here we have examples of tech writers across three different fields. In software, technical writers participate in meetings with documentation teams, and sometimes, depending on where they at, where they're at, and also um, their roles within the team, they perform quality insurance alongside engineers. Some may also create e-learning courses or help with the user experience of an application. In the medical field, technical communicators create scientific documents to explain various health care and related technology, including defining terminology, writing articles, and or producing marketing and educational material for all audiences. Lastly, in the engineering industry, technical writers work alongside engineers to create and compile documentation for projects such as manufacturing equipment operation, qualification, and certification. So basically, technical writer's job is to be there from point A to B to C and D and so on of the project, helping out with the planning stages, design, um, releasing the product and testing it for further improvements. And so, yeah, there's many roles that you can undergo as a technical communicator. And then technical writers can have multiple job titles slash names. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, a technical writer as your position. So some examples can be a UX and UI writer, a copywriter, and like a content strategist. Yes, and while most technical communication deals with STEM related fields, there are plenty of fun examples out there showing the variety of industries that you can work with. 
and um, projects too that you can undergo, such as games, for example. And at the Spark STEM Fest this past February, our team actually hosted activities um, of Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. And it was a great time just seeing tech come in action because in this game, the, the goal is to defuse a bomb and it's, um, it's a co-op. So you have to, one person is in charge of actually seeing the bomb itself and having to defuse each section while everyone else has to um, decipher what the user manual is all about. And so everyone just comes together and tries to communicate as best as they can with the materials they have. And yeah, that's what technical communicators do. We are the bridge between technology and the user. This um, slide's kind of overviewing what Joy already previously mentioned about um, how we played multiple rounds of the game to help show how vital instructions are in everyday life. And as a technical communicator, it's our job to bridge the gap between the product to consumer with all use of language and visualization. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's definitely interesting. Um, it's an interesting part of technical communication, making documentation, because there's always um, an imbalance and ways to improve how we can um, incorporate aesthetics, design, and um, just usefulness. So those are lots of areas that you can go into if you do research in technical communication. And as for the importance of instructions, in the everyday, of course, instructions are super important to every aspect of life. And without them, you couldn't set up a printer or bake a cake with any hope of success. In our field specifically, instructions hold even more importance as the topics are often more complicated and the stakes are higher, especially when you are a technical writer in um, working in a corporation where you have clients that have their demands and um, you have deadlines to achieve as well. So yeah, it's always important to have um, a, a good line of communication with your team at all times and to keep track of um, deadlines. How to get involved. Yes. Yes, and here we have some examples of the benefits of volunteerism. Well, first of all, volunteering increases your visibility within academic and professional settings. Um, it could set you up for recognition and um, just lots of credentials that you can take with you in the job, job hunting process and in the market. And second of all, any materials that you create during your volunteering time can be included as your future work samples in your portfolio. And the more the better, especially um, when you have a wide range of um, different projects. And yeah, it's always great to have variety as well. And there are so many invaluable soft skills that you gain from volunteering, such as collaboration, communication, um, teamwork, time management, and leadership too. And we have plenty of leadership roles in FTC that are open to all who are interested. And we will be talking a bit more about that in the upcoming slides. And lastly, here is my favorite part of volunteering. Um, we get to meet like-minded people who are interested in what we like to do and we, uh, what we uh, want to research about. And in the process of all this, we get to gain new friends along the way. And so here we have a list of some um, volunteering opportunities that span STC Florida as well as FTC. If you're looking to have your work published on either FTC blog, you are welcome to share your rough draft uh, and or ideas uh, to us via our email. It is ucf.ftc at gmail.com. STC Florida's memo to members newsletter is always looking for 
new um, new volunteers just to have their work published and recognized on the internet. And to do so, you can send your work and or ideas again to Julia Southwick. She is my mentor. She's, she's great and she's really nice. And you can um, contact her through her email. In FTC, we are always looking for student volunteers and early career professional volunteers through joining our committees. We have three currently, and um, the first one is the website committee. They are basically in charge of working on UX, UI features onto our website and adding more pages um, that will continue to um, hopefully create more community engagement as we go on throughout the semesters. And as for publications, that's a great place to get your your work highlighted, spotlit, and um, yeah, just to have your work as a blog post and or article. I'm personally part of the communications committee and it's a great time really. Uh, and we're basically in charge of doing promotions and outreach towards FTC, STC Florida, and um, the university events. And STC Florida is always looking for volunteers within their chapter, and they have an upcoming um, ADCO meeting, ADCO, um, that stands for Administrative Council Meeting on uh, the 13th. And for the full event materials, um, make sure to access our Discord server where we have um, all of them included and be sure to check out our socials periodically because we always keep up with reminders and yeah, everyone is, is welcome to attend. And here we have two testimonies by our Spark STEM Fest um, designer and editors, as well as presenters, Chantel and Dominic Chiovari. I was wondering, Chantel, would you like to take the floor first? Yeah, definitely. Um, hey everyone, my name is Chantal. I'm on the communications committee for FTC and I help to design and write our brochure and also our presentation for the Spark STEM Fest. Um, I know I would have had even a better time if I was able to go present, but I had a blast, honestly, um, just with the part I was able to do. Um, I found it very enriching to know that I was giving back to FTC and also educating others about TechCom um, because I don't think that nearly enough people know about it, uh, but just also going through the process as well. I actually was able to um, really improve some tech writing skills. So with the brochure and the presentation, kind of learning, um, having practice, building my writing style with that of others, um, and just the whole um, collaborative writing um, experience. Um, definitely, um, I didn't go into it thinking I was going to improve my tech comp skills, um, but I definitely did. So it was a win-win situation. Um, and I just had a blast, you know, collaborating uh, with people who, you know, also care about tech comm and all of that. So it was a great time. I loved it, even though I didn't have the opportunity to go and present. So yeah, it was it was a blast. Yeah, I'm so glad to hear that. And um, we really appreciate um, both of your collaborations and con contributions to our club. Yeah, you're both really talented. And um, if you're ready, Dominic, uh, yeah, it'd be great for you to talk about your experience. So hello, my name is Dominic. I am the secretary of FTC and I edited some of the materials we made for Spark STEM Fest. Just wanna say off the bat, FTC has been one of the best things I've done at UCF. There's so many great people. Uh, when I first joined uh, technical, the technical communication uh, major a little over a year ago. I was entirely new to it. I wasn't really sure what it meant. Getting to, getting into this club and meeting all these new people taught me not only how to come out of my shell a little bit more, but also drastically improve the skills that I have now. And editing some of the materials we made for Spark STEM 
uh, was one of the ways I was able to uh, bring those skills out. And it was fun working with everyone. Uh, we were we were energetic in uh, in that last night before uh, the plunge. I guess I'll say. As for being at Spark STEM itself, great experience. It made your head spin with how much. Uh, innovation was brought to the table. And as for presenting, I was one of the presenters on the second day of Sparks 10. And uh, it was a bit of a challenge for me because I'm a little bit of an introvert, but luckily Joy was there and some other people were there who are unfortunately not in this meeting right now, but they they made everything work. It was great. Um, part of the great part of, uh, excuse me, I'm stumbling a little bit. Uh, one of the greatest parts of being at um, spark stem was the team building aspect as i said in my quote because you know you're not just there alone you have all these people to help you grow and improve your skills and to teach people something that's really important a really important part of our society and uh yeah overall ftc and spark stem have been a great experience for me and i hope to contribute even more in the future i intend to and thank you everyone for making it possible yeah, thank you again for um, both of your wonderful testimonials. And I look forward to hanging out with you more in future club events, especially our end of the year celebration. And we'll be talking about um, more details on that in upcoming slides. And everyone is welcome to join. Um, before we go on to our next slide, um, I will just be holding a disclaimer that this is a recorded video. Um, that we created during the first day of the Spark STEM Fest um, by, um, and it features John Clement, our FTC immediate past president. And after we share it, uh, we hope that he can talk a bit more about his experiences and um, what he learned during this volunteering session. Tell us a bit about your Spark STEM Fest experience. What did you work on for projects? So my Spark STEM Fest experience has been great. Sorry, all a bit of technical difficulties. <laughs> Let it buffer. We'll start it from the beginning so that um yeah has more room to download. Tell us a bit about your Spark STEM Fest experience. What did you work on for projects? So my Spark STEM Fest experience has been great. Uh, last year was my first time participating in a, an event like this at the Orlando Science Center. So this year is my second time around. And this time around, uh, each time, I mean, it's been great. Just volunteering, uh, teaching younger kids about Tech com and really just getting involved, especially in the project making experience. Getting getting together with everybody to just either participate in or overlook things like making a nice brochure. Uh, just teach kids about tech com, having all of our information up on it, things like that. Um, getting everybody and uh, getting to see everybody work on things like websites all of that has been great uh, this time around i was participating more on the administration side of things so just organizing uh, organizing the projects and helping with you know the management of how things ran doing some planning session but even that is great tech com experience because at the end of the day you're always going to be working on teams when you're in tech com so whatever piece you end up thinking when you're participating with FTC or one of our events, uh, there's a lot of tech com experience that you can gain from it. And I definitely love this time around. Yes, thank you all so much for your patience as that video buffered. Um, <laughs> uh, if John is here right now, uh, John, would you like to share a bit more about your Spark SEMFest experience? So um, John is not here right now. He had to step away quickly. Already, yeah, no problem. Yeah, as John said in the video, he did a lot of um, administrative work in the background, and that was really essential to our attendance at the Spark STEM Fest. And 
yeah, uh, we really appreciate all that he's done, um, even as a FTC al alum. And we're looking forward to more projects and events in the future. Okay, before we um, send off our, um, our presentation, we would like to share a big thanks to all of our Spark STEM Fest designing and presenting volunteers, um, including many who have um, taken the time out of their day to attend tonight's meeting, including Chantel, Cassandra, and Dominic. Um, as for John too, and yeah, um, we really, um, our participation would not have been possible if not for all of the work that you put into um, into our projects. And yeah, I really appreciate having you all on the team. It's been really great. Okay, and here is a list of some upcoming events uh, throughout FTC and STC Florida. This upcoming April 18th at 6.30 p.m., we will be having a UXUI guest speaker event with our own um, past um, vice president, Zach, uh, Zachary Miller, who will discuss his, um, his research in the field and share their advice to students and early career professionals. Please stay tuned as we will also be setting a date for our end of the year event. And um, we hope to have it as a hybrid setting as we celebrate our members' achievements and future endeavors. And on April 20th at 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. EDT, my mentor Julia Southwick and I will be hosting a STC Florida event titled MailChimp as a Tool for Community Engagement. Um, we will be sharing an overview of the campaign management platform, a brief tutorial on how to use the tool and the best practices that we have learned from practical experience, um, just volunteering in the communications committee of STC Florida and FTC. Um, this event is, um, is specifically an RSVP event, and um, it is open to all students who are interested to access the RSVP form and sign it yourself. Um, details are actually included in on our Discord. So yeah, uh, I encourage you all to take a look at it. And if you can, it would be great to have you there. This is just a credit slide just to help give the attributions to what we use as a template for the presentation. So again, on behalf of FTC and all of our awesome members um, here, uh, we would like to say thank you for attending tonight's event. And to reach out to us, you can find us on many social media outlets and they're listed on our link tree. So. Whenever you get the time, um, just try to um, connect with us there. Yeah, just as a note, we put a lot of um, links in the chat too about throughout the presentation, so be sure to check those out. And um, we'll stop the recording before um, before we start taking any questions anyone has. That way, in case they don't want the question recorded as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, stop recording now? Yes, please. Okay, I apologize. No, it's, it's all, all good. good. Thank you.